Yo. So now we're on that Call of Duty Advanced Welfare. Advanced Wardrobe. Advanced Warfare, sorry. I don't know why. It took me a couple tries. So this game came out in 2014. Uh, this was the first Call of Duty that I played on Next Gen on PS4. And I hated it. Honestly, I, I hate this game. I tried to like it for so long, it broke me. And it's not the EXO movement. Well, no, it is the EXO movement. <laughs> it's terrible. <laughs> I don't dislike 3D movement in general, but I definitely dislike this game's 3D movement. That and the skill-based matchmaking fucking ruined me, man. Uh, I'll show my codtracker.net stats, which is like basically like an API for this game. And basically it, it shows a, I'm in the top 10, top five, top one percentile for most of the important categories. Which meant, every time I'd matchmake in this game, I was playing other people like that. And I, I have no problem with playing people of similar skill than me. I have no problem playing people of lower skill than me. I have no problem playing people of better skill than me. But when you play the same fucking people every match, like iHeart underscore 3480 Rich, how do I remember that gamer tag? Probably because he was like number six in the world for domination, and I had to play him every fucking day. Him and his fucking clan. This game just broke me after a while with that bullshit. You know, it's it's not fun, and it made my friends stop playing with me as well. Cause you know, my my party was always a group of diverse skill level uh, skill levels. You know, and I, I don't pick my friends based on how good you are at Call of Duty, because that's fucked up. I pick my friends based off of, you know, how much we have in common, how cool of a dude you are, how chill you are, you know, shit like that. And when my friends that, you know, only play for a couple hours a week and, you know, don't always go on high kill shrieks and stuff, when they played with me, they would get absolutely fucking destroyed because of the people that I matched up against. And they stopped playing with me. And that hurt, dude. This game fucking did that. This game made my friends stop playing with me. Made some of my friends stop playing with me because of the lobbies that we would join when I was there. And when I'd go play with uh, my GB friends, fuck that, dude. Their lobbies were worse than mine. So that's my little rant on why skill-based matchmaking ruined this game. Now let's get to the stats, which are not very good. Seven days in. At least on this account, I had a ton of accounts because skill-based matchmaking. Uh, but this is obviously one I started off on in my main. Uh, 2.14 KD, 2.9 win loss, 534 score per minute. Um, yeah, 18 unstoppables. I only have one DNA on this account. Hell, I only have two DNA bombs total on this game. One was on a reverse boosted account, which I kind of don't even count because you know what a reverse boosted account is. I mean, I was playing like combat training bots basically when I got that DNA. So my only other DNA was on this account and I have no footage of it because it was like the third week of November or whatever. And it was like three in the fucking morning and it just kind of came out of nowhere. Uh, but I ended up getting pretty high kill streak. And that was an awesome game. Never uh, got another DNA. A 30 kill streak in this game was really hard for me. So AK-12, most used weapon, 2.08. ASM-1, fuck this gun, fuck this gun, fuck this gun. Val-27, fuck this gun, fuck this gun, fuck this gun. AK-12 rules. Core streaks, UAV, system hack, orbital care package. I know what you're thinking, Dylan. What the absolute fuck are you doing running a fucking care package? Well, this game had a variance to their score streaks, and if you added a couple upgrades to the care package, it was just incredibly OP. 
and with how difficult this game was, I kind of needed to rely on something to uh, something you know over the top and OP. So I'll go into more about that when I show my classes. 72 ruthlesses, 17 relentlesses, five brutals, one vicious, 18 unstoppable. anybody cares about the rest of this shit. Uh, super kill, they don't even say six. Wow, I never had more than that. I suck. Your boards. Okay. EDM 2.45. I do remember playing Uplink during uh, Comeback 24-7 weekends. If I'm going too fast, you can always just pause the video and whatnot. Finally, I'm on an unranked one. There's Dom. Wow, that doesn't even look like I hold a 2 KD in Dom. Maybe just barely. Those are my leaderboards. Here are my classes, uh, just all AK-12 stuff. And, uh, yeah, toughness always, blast suppressor always, uh, low profile pretty much always, system fuck, system hack their sack most of the time. Now here's the orbital care package, here's the kicker. So you run double tap. So if you don't like what you got the first time, you can double tap. Better odds, which actually works, and support. I know, it's silly. Just run this and you're, you're gonna get like one of the higher kill streaks every time. Seriously, you call in like three of these a game in a dumb match. It's OP. Air trigger, love this variant. I don't have like any fucking uh, worthwhile variant either other than the hair trigger. Like I don't have shit. I don't have, well, I don't even use the bow, so I don't care about that. Wow, they got a lot of guns now, huh? I've been on this game in a while. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I don't know how I have that. So yeah, just AK, AK only, you know. And sensitivity looks like five. I'm guessing that's like a the default. I guess not too sure. Now let me pull up odd tracker. Okay, so this is no longer updated. You can see that no longer update stats. These stats are frozen in time. Last updated January 20th, 2016. Okay, so this ranks every player that's played the game. The API for this uh, Advanced Warfare was public back in the day, and that's how the COD Tracker was able to do this. So, top 1% for score per minute, top 5% for kills, top 1% for KD. Top 1% for kills plus assists divided by deaths, I think is what that is. Don't quote me on that. Top 2% for wins, uh, or sorry, win percentage, win ratio. Top 8% for wins, top 7% for XP, top 7 for headshots. Now the only things that really matter here, the score per minute, the kills, the KDR, and the wins. That is exact, or the win ratio, that is exactly what skill-based matchmaking is based off of in this game. It was mainly score per minute, from what I could tell. And it was just awful. I would run into the same 
lobbies. I'm talking, you go into the TDM playlist in November of the game uh, life cycle, right? Game's been out for less than a month. Go into the TDM playlist, I only match up with one lobby. Now, there has to be more than one lobby in the TDM playlist of Call of Duty that's just a couple weeks old, right? Well, yeah, of course, but nope, I just get this one lobby. I have no fucking choice to play anything else. And that sucks, man. That really ruined the game for me. So, that's the main reason why I could not stand this game. That and the, the EXO movement was just dog shit. They really fucked up with that. But uh, thank God BO3 and I dub really smoothed it out and made the 3D movement a lot better. Because... Adub, you're just like hopping around like fucking Adderalled up frogs or something. 